Oh, how are you, my love? My condolences um, to you and to all your fellow castmates from Ugly Betty. Is this a total shock to you, or, or was he tortured? Yeah, yeah America, um, I'm in, over in London, and America did a group text yesterday and basically said, um, I'm sure you heard, uh, it's shocking, my heart's broken. And I said, what? And then got the, um, the, uh, the article that was at Variety and um, was stunned. I mean, uh, he's so young, so talented, uh, such a great career ahead of him, and, uh, and just a seemingly happy guy. So um, when something like this happens and someone we've worked with and felt like we know very well passes away and it's such a, like this, in this kind of way, you kind of replay all those interactions, all those moments together, and does it totally come out of left field, or was he a tortured guy in some way? It comes in waves, um, and uh, he definitely loved to party. Um, that was my first concern. Okay. Uh, but he also, you know, had a behemoth of a show when we were working uh, on our four seasons of Ugly Betty together. And he was brave. He's the one that, I mean, I wasn't even in the um, original cast of Ugly Betty, and I had they had the first table read, and they go, I need Vanessa Williams. And he's the one who called the network and said, I need to get her. And I literally got the phone call and showed up in the, uh, in the wardrobe trail the next day because he insisted on it. So he, was, he let uh, actors do what they do best. He let um, showrunners, um, not showrunners, but producers and directors uh, think out of the box. So he was, he was definitely a, a risk taker in that. Uh, he didn't play it safe. The fear with creative people is that the recreational, you know, activities, the, the chemicals, the drugs, the whatever it is, gets, gets a hold of them because it, you know, it's a way to come down from things. Have, have we learned anything on that front? Do we know what? Well, we, we know it was a gunshot, apparently. So that's yeah. uh, very violent and obviously some deep, deep-seated sadness that um, we all were not aware of uh, was, was going on underneath. And I just feel sorry for uh, the family and, and all that, you know, we held dear. The, our little, you know, we had a little strong cast and crew and, and production and um, we are like family and we still are kind of reacting as a family and um, it's just it's just really really sad will the cast get together at a funeral do we know anything about the arrangements or I have no idea I know it happened in Miami that's where he was originally yeah. from I know he does have a house in Hollywood um, so I have no idea I, I I'm over in rehearsals in London so I won't be able to attend unfortunately what production are you doing I am doing City of Angels um, oh. at the Garrick Theater uh, musical, and uh, it's a, it's a 1940s um, uh, musical that hasn't been done on Broadway for about 30, 30 or 30 or so years. So uh, this is the West End production, and um, we just, we just started rehearsing this week, and I'm really excited. So will you live in a hotel for several months? Is that the way it goes? No, uh, for the first couple of weeks, and I'm looking at places right now. So I'll be moving into an apartment, a flat over here, and enough room for my kids to visit and bring friends. Oh, how great. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, Vanessa. What a great, huge impact that Ugly Betty had on our uh, television and pop culture landscape. And so, yeah. so sorry. Thank you thank for you. weighing in on that. All, All right. right. Much love. Take you too. Bye Break bye. a leg. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.